Two years ago, he was overweight and didn't own a bicycle, but it didn't stop a barrier man from a mission to ride a bike across America. In today's Keeping the Faith, Tampa Tribune reporter Michelle Bearden tells us about his summer adventure and what he accomplished along the way. Give Jay Bo Ellis a bike and he hits the open road. Anybody can ride a bicycle across America. It really isn't. You just need some patience and a, a good seat and a lot of water or a Gatorade. So that's what he did this summer. Uh, we started on the northwest tip of the lower 48 in Nia Bay, Washington. Riding 3,700 miles in 52 days, averaging 80 miles a day. And ended up in the uh, Atlantic Ocean on, off of Jacksonville, Florida. It's a journey that took him through 11 states. Washington State, Idaho, Wyoming, Colorado, Kansas, Missouri, Illinois, Kentucky, Tennessee, Georgia, Florida. He had company, his five kids and pregnant wife, Connie, who drove in a van pulling this camper across the country. And the kids survived all this? They did, they did well. You know, what was the secret? I, I'm seeing a TV here. DVDs, yeah. Now there was a purpose to all this pedaling and living campground to campground in these cozy quarters. This was a mission trip, delivering a message of faith and hope to small town America. Um, the cycling really wasn't what it was about. Our, the cycling was our vehicle for this year to go tell the good news of Jesus Christ. He gave out 800 silver crosses to strangers as an icebreaker. And we'd reach around and say, listen, I just rode 3,700 miles to give you this cross. I have a relationship with Jesus Christ, and I, I hope you do too. And free t-shirts. Well, it's the story or the parable of the Good Samaritan, and we thought that represented our ministry well, because if you see somebody who's down and you're a Christian, you usually are going to lend a hand to, to pick them up. And that's how the Ellis family spent their summer vacation. Anytime you can try to get your selfish self out of the way and allow the Holy Spirit to work through you, uh, amazing things happen. Michelle Bearden of the Tampa Tribune. Ellis completed his trip in 52 days. He kept an online journal with photos of the adventure. If you'd like to check it out, go to tbo.com keyword links.